Hello, this reading is for Gemini. Gemini, February 2024. It's going to be a love reading. It's going to do how you are doing, your person's doing. Gemini. February 2024. Gemini. February 2024. I'm going to get a song and a quote. Gemini, February 2024. You got Green Grass by Tom Waits. And a quote for Gemini, February 2024. Quote for Gemini. for Gemini. Alright, it says, She left this world of sorrow and pain and returned to the land of thought again. So, did you leave somebody? Green grass speaks of somebody that wants you to reconcile with them. The love for Gemini. Competition. Love this month. Competition. Ruthless, cutthroat, and aggressive. Staying away from somebody because of the bad seeds they have around them. Because you don't want to be in a game when you're a coach. Gemini. Dance. Slow dance. Create a new dance. Aerobic dance. Enter a dance contest. Maybe you're going to be in a dance competition. Dancing in the grass. Grounding. All right. Three cards for Gemini. Three cards for Gemini. Three cards for Gemini's person. February 2024 for Gemini. The Plower. Two of Wands, Dominion. The Judgment in Reverse. Again, somebody making that decision not to, and the High Priestess, two twos, somebody wants you to, three twos, three twos, three twos is security, security about what? Secure in knowing who you are, having full control over your body, fun shaped nuggets. Security about what? Unshaped nuggets. Playful, fanciful, and imaginative. Dancing again, smiling again, singing again, living again. Being yourself again, getting back to yourself. The judgment in reverse, I want to know. Weakness. Pulsillanimity, simplicity, also deliberation, decision, and sentence. I know I looked this up before, but. So plowing through anything that used to be a problem an obstacle, an issue, pulsilamity, lack of courage or determination, timidity. So no more being timid, not worrying about the competition. Maybe, yeah, if you retreat and go into your own world, there is no competition. 
and then you get back to your lively, playful, loving self when you're not worried about being in somebody's harem. So deliberately being seat deliberately being simple, even though people might find you as weak because you don't want to fight for them or fight for what you know is not worth it. You'd rather be at home in a bubble bath. Let me read the plower. The plower is an act of cultivating the earth in his consciousness. It symbolizes the virtue of a human self-realization. Exactly. Associated to the planet of Mercury, our planet, the letter T and the number 5. It represents the elemental intelligence in its laboring of knowing how to harvest the fruits of experience. Not playing someone's game, not being part of somebody's competition, not being on and off, not going back and forth. The quote is, my mill is grinding flour for me and flour for my neighbor. Worrying about simple things, deliberately worrying about simple things, not being weak, not being timid, not caring that that's how people see you. I've got dominion here and then I've got four candles burning there. So it's working from homes, being okay with being at home, loving being at home in your own world. She left this world of sorrow and pain and ventured to the land of thought again. Going back into your bubble, your safe space. Okay, so as an element of prediction, it promises powerful friends, the necessity of their help, and the ability to attain it if one has faith and friendship. It signifies elevation by means of those friends and one's own willpower. So getting support from friends, mentors, guides, and plowing through whatever this is. Feeling secure within yourself, your body, your mind, your soul. The judgment in reverse. And the high priestess, what does she know? <laughs> Two of Wands. And this waiting for results, make a choice and travel plans. Um, I am a strong melanin queen who loves my brown skin. Black beauty comes in all shades. There's no need for competition. There's enough for all of us. Something about somebody could be What's this? 648? Power struggle. 648. This could be dealing with a cancer. Don't have to be. But what's this? Yeah, and an Aries could be messing with you. Trying to mess with your mind. Trying to mess with your beauty. Trying to mess with your money. Trying to mess with this relationship trying to keep somebody away from you but you know you know who she is kitchen witch so let's see your person let's see what's going on with them speculation the king of wands They might be with somebody else. What's that? The hips? I saw that the other day. The world might be communicating online. They might be of a different race. This is, could be where the power struggle comes in. Page of Wands. That's that. Most likely an Aries. Or a Taurus. So, King of Wands. It could be dealing with a father and a child. They might be child might be infiltrating your messages that might be where the competition comes in the 
What's that City Girls song? no petty ass B play with your kids yeah exactly yeah exactly okay so speculation person you're dealing with. Speculation as an act of appraisal for value symbolizes the human virtue of reasoning. So trying to weigh up options, sacrificing something, somebody. Associated to the planet Mercury, the letters LL and the number five, it represents the principle of directed diligence. Quote is, may thine eyes see without fear and thine hands with love. As an element of prediction, it promises intelligent laboring, beneficial learning, abundance of material goods, generosity, liberality, giving, spending freely, favorable news on monetary matters, make right calculation for undertakings. So, what's going on with this person? Yeah, this person is, it looks like it's somebody else's man. He's probably doing a lot of online dating, catfishing, whatever. Worried about money and has a little sex kitten. That's what it looks like. And if that's not the case, then this person, this person's playing games. And you're better off to just um, stay in your security. You're secure in your home, not engage, not reconcile. Did I take that? Death. The end of a fire sign, the end of sleeping with someone, the end of playing this person's game. Boombox, the world. Could be a music, a, a festival traveling to go to a concert or this person's world traveling could be sending you signs songs synchronicities and then unlucky charms does that say they're tragically delicious free insurance policy inside yeah i'm not even going to touch that okay what did i end with Three cards. Gemini, February 2024. Gemini, February 2024. Ooh, I like that. Today I will not be critical. Today I will be not be critical of my appearance or actions. I am perfect the way I am. Exactly. Just like the moon, I will go through phases. Don't power struggle with this person. It ain't worth it. Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and the prize that they want to fight over is not even worth it. And be a kind to one another, tender hearted, and forgiving one another. Yes, forgive this person because they do not know. They don't know ha the half of what's going on. They don't know the half of what you know. They're immature. And they don't know you know what they're up to. So we forgive them. They'll get their life lessons another way. Even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. So, just keep plowing ahead, 
no reconciliation go back into your magical bubble we don't compete can't compete where you don't compare let these kitchen witches do their thing let your person be all up here in the streets and I mean if this is the good side of your person maybe they're changing but I see an overly sexualized person that's out playing games and wants to put you in competition and come in and out and have you when they want to and not when they don't. All right, Gemini, good luck.